Okay guys, um, I'm trying to um, give you guys a visual of what's going on uh, with the modules. Um, I can tell by the comments that you know some people may not understand it fully, so hopefully a visual will help. And what I've done here is, this is a really, really crude thing, but what I've done here is I got four wires, okay, and I twisted them together down here. And we're going to call where the twist is, that's the cell. That's a battery, okay? That represents a battery, okay? So we got four of them. Each battery is 4.01 volt. Just like we're going to use my previous video, we're going to use the voltage that we got in, in, on the meter as an example. So each one of these things represents 4.01 volts and it also represents 32.5 amp hours. Okay, and we're going to arrange all these so that the positive is on my left and the negative is on my right. Okay, just like this. Now, we have four wires in, this, in the common terminal in the center, okay? And then on each side we got a negative and then we got a plus, a positive. So, we have, if you check from here to here, you'll get 4.01 volts. If you check from here to here, you'll get 4.01 one volts okay and you can you can see each side is in parallel parallel is when you put plus to plus and negative to negative series is when you go positive to negative negative to positive okay so you can see each side okay has the same color terminal we're red on this side black on this side okay and then we set them next to each other same thing here red on the left black on my right now if you took and measured the voltage across these two right here it would still be 4.01 but since we have two in that this is parallel you know, like color, like color, positive to positive, negative to negative. So each cell, this cell is 32.5 amp hours, and this cell is 32.5 amp hours. So when they're wired up together, we have the same voltage, 4.01, but our amperage is, we add our amperage, so we would have 65 amp hours, okay? So each one of these represents 4.01 volts and 65 amps because they're in parallel. Again, red to red, black to black, positive to positive, negative to negative is parallel. Now, if you slide them together like this, okay, you still get 4.01 from this from the center to out to each leg okay because you're still only measuring half half of it you go across this terminal to this terminal you're measuring this half if you go across this terminal to this terminal you're measuring this half but now since they're all together here in the center when we go from this terminal to this terminal, we get the series part of the of it. So you would add the voltage, 4.01 times 2 is 8.02. So if you measure from this terminal to this terminal, then all four of these batteries, or these two individual cells now, are in series. Negative to positive okay black to red that's how you get 8.02 across the whole thing okay 
so that is a very that's how 2s 2p works this is four cells total we got four separate wires here okay we lay them in here like this and wire twist them all together and you would have a 2s 2p pack or cell module that's exactly what it looks like inside the modules on our battery pack that's how it's wired together I hope that clears up some questions um, if you have any more questions let me know I'll try to make a video to answer I know this is crude but at least it gives you a visual and I think the visual is what helps so that's all I got right now take it easy guys